Hi YouTube, Edward Tindall here. That is our bridge right there. Starting off this video like this because we've been having severe weather issues, severe flooding, tornadoes, all kinds of stuff. Y'all can see that water just it's everywhere. And uh, that being said, That's one reason I haven't been able to upload because my internet's been really uh, acting up with me. Also, we uh, did a video that y'all do not did not get to see. For some reason, we just had all these stillborn babies from the African soft furs. We got about ten more <coughs> that are having babies, so we're gonna feed some geckos. These geckos are having eggs. So I will, uh, don't worry about the messy pen, because they're making a mess while they're doing stuff, while these are breeding. While these are breeding, we give them pinkies for extra uh, egg, egg stuff. don't feed them pinkies all the time but when they're producing a lot of eggs like they've been doing they gotta have a little extra something so uh there's that one let me get her one yep there y'all go the females they're looking mighty skinny um that tail still got some fat on it and it looks like we may have some more eggs that i may pull here in a little bit if they want another one the last video I did was of rattlesnakes and baby geckos, and I lost the footage for some reason. I hit record and it didn't record. Look at that big girl. This girl was a snake eye blazing blizzard with some paradox spots on it, and all of these are hit for lemon frost. Possible. Watch out, boy. She's gonna get you. Whoa, whoa here she comes. Oh, watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. A little African sulfurs. Hey, watch out, watch out. She's gonna eat you. You want one or not? This is the male. This female, she'll just keep on eating them. All I'm giving them to her, so that's what it is. See if this little skinny girl wants one, and then we'll check for some eggs. There you go. Yeah, let's see. See what, how this is all piled up here? And there's dirt all over the enclosure. Probably means there's eggs. Or getting ready to be eggs. She must grab that, so I need to rehand it to her. There's no eggs. A little dinosaur. There we go. There we go. You can get it, baby. So I hope we'll have some more. Some more eggs. You got a girl. I'm gonna give this other one one more. Baby. Oh shit. She got it. That's that. A lot of people won't tell you to feed them pinkies, but when they're having eggs like that, they absolutely need it. It's a must. Um, I was going to feed these, but they eat them all, so we're not going to be feeding these. Both of these are in fixing the shit anyway. This one, I have already cleared up. This one is um, really heavy deep blue right now. So that is that. Oh, yeah, excuse me for a moment. Sorry, my 
nose. So I've never been out there in the hot weather and it's getting money. Also, you don't get to see him out and about very often. I know Bray White will be watching, seeing the, seeing that. He was eating not too long ago. Not too long ago. Um, if you'll bear with me for a moment. I'm going to move some things. We just pulled the shed. This is the thing. We did a, a rattlesnake shed pulling video and it was absolutely amazing footage. Maybe we can get some more of the footage. Bear with me a moment. I'm going to hang y'all right here. We also got some other breeding projects we're fixing to be doing here in the future. Yeah. Hopefully. Here. I gotta clean that water and all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, I'm just gonna move this. I'm just going to take this and put it right here for now. I'm move this water out of here. Poop. Just poop in here. Get all that dealt with real quick. I feed them the more they poop, the more they grow. I'll try to get this lovely, lovely out. About so y'all can see. Say hi. Do you want to come out and say hi? Do you want to come out and say hi? Put extra moisture in here for you. Kind of all absorb up in there. Usually I feed him on this plate. Him or her, whatever it might be. Where you at, buddy? Hey. <laughs> I don't know. You wouldn't believe it. But in that little bitty tiny hole, I got a comment the other day uh, about the quality of the snake's life because a big snake is in a little cage, which is plenty adequate space. This snake, huge, is in this little area in this big tank. So they're going to stay in a little area like this in such a big tank while well, I take up all the space. You feel me? Just my own opinion. I've been raising rattlesnakes all my life. The uh, comment was in concern of the rattlesnake that was in question, the one that's in quarantine, which I'm not going to bring around my other animals until this quarantine period is done. And I'm also working on an outdoor rattlesnake project but I can't do anything while uh, while the weather is the way it is and you can't even see this one for some reason um, I'm gonna put the lid back on here maybe it'll come out here in a minute thinking that there's food and while we wait on that Pixie frogs. I'm saying it's recording, so hopefully it is this time. I'll bear with them with such a one up here. For those of you new to my channel that don't know what a pixie frog is, a pixie frog is a gigantic frog. It grows big like this. I got a big hand. You can see how big this frog is. I'll compare it to a Pringles can. In the Pringles can, there's a southern frog. Absolutely huge frog. And then 
and uh, here's the babies what they look like. Here's the one albino Pac-Man frog I have. I will be getting more. There's a pixie frog baby, what they look like as a baby with the three stripes. And here is a, that's the albino Pac-Man. So I'm going to set this right here for a moment. Y'all just watch that while I get some roaches. size for inches. Anyway. <laughs> they got plenty of breeches. These size. These breeches, but they're not the proper size. I'm feeding. Well, that is actually the proper size. Alright, get ready. Get ready for it. What's going on here? My frog's starving to death, never feel that. <laughs> I'm joking. They're always starved to death. Pixies. Hey, get over here. Get over this way. I'm going to have to move this out of the way so he'll realize something else is going on over here. A little cartoon looking thing. They go on movement. I'm guessing so he's eating substrate. Just gonna hand it to him because he's dumb. There you go. Hungry and dumb. Have to use your survival skills. Not a good. Not a good uh, thing at all. He's got our growing like a weed. See if I can find me another little one. I'm lucky. I'm gonna set y'all up here with this guy for a moment. Bear with me. Looking for a roach. You can take your roach and dip it in some D3. Keep uh, metabolic bone disease from happening. But not least, the Pac Man. I'll show y'all another technique in the Pac Man frog. We can eat a little bit bigger stuff. Get a little bit bigger mouth. Give me some more powder in this roach. them D3 vitamin D3 powder because it's vital nutrients to them so uh, that 
is that my friends if y'all enjoyed I will make y'all another video here in a little bit I want to see if the rattlesnake ever come out man he didn't I sure use in there though look at that frog trying to get to these roaches so let me know what you think and uh, my heart goes out to all of the locals that are suffering and everybody in the world is suffering, actually. A lot of bad things happen. I hate it for everybody. Hopefully things will get better. We'll make it through another year. Edward Tindall and beautiful Pac-Man frog, Albano, Kendall.